try to bring work from other country and uh, show in the public. And how it's like when the, the local audience or the local visitor check out all the exhibition, what they interact with, with all the work. And uh, it's something that they can learn. And sometimes maybe they don't like the photo, sometimes maybe they don't understand the work. But step by step, it's something like something that they pass through their mind, and then it's something to learn. यहाँ को अब जेनरेशन वाइज कुरा करता है कि हम बंदा अग्रज हो रहा है जैसे ही ये लेज़ जैसे ही बाहर को इनफॉरमेशन सेयरिंग वहाँ रुझन पूर्ण न सके को बारे था वहाँ सा अने और को यूथ को लाइक ये लेज़ केस कर सके ने फोटोग्राफी गॉर्डे पची वही एटी समो उसको एक्जिबिशन प्लेटफॉर्म साब बनने उसका य The most challenging shows to curate uh, was The Measures of Loss and Memory of War. Uh, the idea came up because when I came here in June, uh, Nentara showed me the three books that Kunda has published and they were extremely powerful stories that needed to be told. But I was wondering what is the reason to show this work again in Nepal because the exhibitions have travelled, he's got quite a bit of response to it, people know the work quite well. So since this was the 20th year since the Maoist revolution began and then uh, 10 years since the peace accord, we thought that we need to do something to commemorate this year. I have a, ch a picture of children uh, in, uh, in the exhibition. So it, it was nice that the, 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 ch you know, the children were, uh, they were uh, looking at the picture of the Afghan, uh, the Afghan children and I don't know what, did they, what, what, they were, what they were thinking, but it was nice to see that. You have to know about, not just about yourself, but there is a whole another world you know, out there beside your little world that we have. So yeah, it definitely has a big impact on people. I mean, it, it, it has a big impact on me and I hope like, you know, that does to everybody else who comes and look at this exhibition. इन्हें क्राउड लाई पनी आमले वैसे भी एक्सपोजर वैसे भी फोटोग्राफी वर्क कर रहे देखा नहीं वड़ा एक्सपोजर पायो लोकल मान से लेबन या वो कोई लेबन ही गैलरी में गए रहते से काम हो रही है ने चालन या खासे कम सा तो आपने गौरांगन में ऐसे भी एक्सिबिशन जो रूप आपको ऐरना पाउंड आते हैं � Turn these on. You've got. I can give one to you. I can be the interviewer, and it's going to collect the audio from all of us. Wow. Really cool. Really cool. Now. I think it's clear that that photography is important to the Nepalese people. I mean, if you go through the city and see the exhibitions for Photo Kathmandu, people are looking at the exhibitions and they're absorbing the, the information and they seem to be inspired by it. There is also, I think, a fundamental shift, not only in terms of the work they're doing, but in the visual vocabulary. Mm -hmm. In Nepal, you actually see many different voices, mm -hmm. uh, visual voices, if you like, mm -hmm. uh, 
telling stories in very different ways and a much more nuanced way of getting ideas across than you used to have. And the whole spectrum. You have people who do just pure like creative photography, nature, that sort of thing, portraits. And then you have the real activist type photojournalist who, who has a mission, you know, and uses that medium to, to for the cause. Check this out. We're actually looking into the past here as you're walking. Now watch how it catches up. This gets deep, man. <laughs> this is Inception. It's like a dream within a dream, 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 within a dream. Within a dream. <laughs>